My name is Jet Campbell. I'm a partner with Karl Marx Advisors. I'm primarily a restructuring partner, but also work in the investment banking division from time to time. This case is about a specialized trucking company formed by acquiring a number of operating units that weren't necessarily uh, strategic fits, uh, but just added revenue and volume. The objective in assembling these companies was to try to create an uh, enterprise that could be taken public. The primary earnings contributor in this group of companies had been an oil and gas subsidiary, and at the time we were in there, oil and gas had been very depressed, and this company was not only not providing significant cash contributions, but it was, in fact, losing money. Uh, at the time we came in, the company was highly leveraged. It was under forbearance with its lending group, and they had required a CRO to come in to focus on operational improvement initiatives and also to develop a plan for dealing with this negative EBITDA oil and gas subsidiary. Nobody on the management team had been allowed to go in and, and deal with these management team members because they were sons of the prior owner, and uh, there was a lot of animosity. Our first task was to see if we could sell the company back to the family, and we negotiated for several weeks, thought we had a deal, and it fell apart several times. Eventually, we decided it was time to take over management of the company and found a lot of issues uh, that frankly we were able to use as leverage in further negotiations. Eventually, I made the decision that it was time to terminate the CEO and then promoted the COO to, to CEO and it made a tremendous difference in the company. He was a very good operator, very seasoned professional, and knew exactly how to go in and deal with these operations. And the key thing about that was it not only provided a resource internally that could lead the management team and had the support of the management team, but it also won over the support of the second lien holder who really was ready for the company to uh, just be sold off and merged into something else. One of the things that's very important when we come into a project is really listening to people who are already there. I've always said that 85% of what we come up with, is, it's in the company. It just hasn't been allowed to come to the surface. So we took the approach of working with the second lien holder and developing a restructuring plan that enabled us to move a fair amount of the debt off the operating company into a holding company to get concessions from some of the sub-debt holders and to address some significant tax concerns. But this was a very interesting case and it was a very successful case. It took a lot of work, a lot of cooperation from council and the management team, uh, the lenders, and Karl Marx. The operating company was left with a, a reasonable amount of debt and a new uh, asset-based loan that took out the, the previous lenders and was able to get a clean audit opinion and, and get leases that enabled it to upgrade its uh, fleet. You know, it was still struggling a little bit because of the oil and gas industry, but, but the oil and gas subsidiary, uh, we made the decision to keep it, and in fact, it was turned around and began to make profits. And so the company really does have a chance of, of surviving. It was a very successful outcome.